Congratulations on your purchase of a Slingfin Kehiltna Dome. It's pretty much the coolest tent out there. Let's walk through the setup process. Your Kehiltna Dome has five long poles and five short poles. Begin by assembling the poles. Don't let the ends of the section snap together, as this can crack the tubing. The first time you set up the Kehiltna Dome, you'll want to set up the web truss by itself first and then clip in the tent body. In mild conditions in the future, you can leave the tent body attached and set it up as one unit. In windy conditions, you'll leave the bottom of the tent body connected, but disconnect the upper part of the tent body to minimize the wind profile during setup. If it's extremely windy, stake down the grommet tabs on the web truss before inserting the poles. Find the ends of the web truss marked L for long. Take the long poles and thread them under the webbing loops at the ends of the web truss. When you come to an intersection, insert the pole into the loop directly across from the pole. Do not insert it into the adjacent loop. In other words, you're following a straight line all the way across the tent. When you come to the opening of the fully enclosed sleeve portion of the web truss, insert the pole and push it through the sleeve, making sure to push it through the opposite side of the intersections as before. Do not pull the pole through, because it can cause the pole sections to partially separate. Pole sections that are not fully inserted can crack when you put tension on them. Push the pole gently and don't force it, so you don't damage the sleeve. When the pole exits the other end of the sleeve, thread it through the webbing loops on the opposite side just like before. Repeat this procedure with all five long poles. Push the poles through so they are approximately even on both sides. Do not put the ends of the poles into the grommets yet. If this is done correctly, the poles will form a pentagram in the middle of the tent. Next, get a tall and strong friend to walk into the middle of the web truss, grab the poles, and hold them up over their head. While they're holding up the web truss, insert the ends of the poles into the grommets. Make sure you insert the poles into the grommets labeled L for long. Each grommet tab has two grommets. The tightness of the web truss varies based on temperature and humidity, so if the poles are very tight, use the grommets farther from the tent. If you need more tension, use the grommets closer to the tent. Now, find the ends of the web truss labeled S for short, and begin threading the short poles through, just like the long poles. For the short poles, it can be helpful to have a friend feed the pole through to you while you guide it through the webbing loops. The short poles can go either above or below the long poles. Insert the pole tips into the grommets as you go. Repeat this with all five short poles, and your web truss is now fully set up and ready to go. Because the web truss has a small surface area, it won't catch the wind as you set it up. If it's windy, stake the tent down now if you haven't already. Now, it's time to attach the tent body. Begin by locating the orange reflective starter tab on the web truss and the tent body. Line them up and begin attaching the clips on the tent body to the metal o-rings at the base of the interior of the web truss. Keep going around the bottom perimeter of the tent body until all the clips are attached. Then, clip the next row of clips up from the bottom. Each clip corresponds to its own metal o-ring. Continue this process until all of the clips on the tent body are connected to the o-rings. Some of the higher clips will be easier to attach from inside the tent. Once all the clips are attached, tension the webbing at the ends of the web truss to strengthen the tent. Your tent body is now good to go. If you haven't already staked your tent down, stake it down now. Seriously. Most of the time you set up the tent, the tent body will already be attached to the web truss, unless you frequently use the tent in high winds. The setup process in this case is the same. Begin with the long poles, draw straws to see who has to hold up the tent from the inside, and insert the pole tips into the grommets. Then, install the short poles as before. This is the fastest and easiest way to set up the tent, because you don't have to clip the tent body to the web truss in a separate step. In windy conditions, we recommend disconnecting the upper clips from the tent body before inserting the poles to minimize the wind-facing surface area when putting the poles through the sleeves. If it's only a little breezy, you can leave the tent body attached and open the doors and windows to allow some wind to pass through. The next step is attaching the fly sheet. Begin by lining up the orange starter tab on the fly sheet with the tabs on the tent body and web truss, and clip the two adjacent fly sheet clips to the corresponding metal o-rings on the grommet tabs. 
This fixes the fly sheet in the correct orientation, so everything will be properly aligned when you put the fly on. It's easiest to use two people to pull the fly sheet over the top of the poles. Before you attach the clips at the base of the fly, fasten the O-rings and toggles on the interior of the fly sheet around the pole intersections. This adds significant strength to the tent and helps the guy lines support the pole structure directly. Clip all of the fly sheet clips onto the corresponding metal O-rings and tighten the webbing to get the fly nice and tight. If it's raining, you can set up the web truss by itself and install the fly sheet before attaching the tent body. So you can attach the tent body from under the shelter of the fly sheet, keeping the tent body dry during the setup process. The snow flaps at the bottom edge of the fly sheet can be folded out, buried in snow, or attached to the toggles underneath the web truss to seal out blowing dust and spin drift. Finally, attach the floor using the clips and the metal O-rings on the inside of the tent body. The floor goes with the logo and seam tape facing up, but it is symmetrical, so you can start with any set of clips and O-rings. Like the tent body, you may want to leave the floor attached to make subsequent setups easier and faster. Your Cahiltna dome is now ready for prime time. Here are some things to remember when setting up your tent. Stake it out every time, Guy lines are not optional in windy conditions, and the more you guide out, the better. If you can only do one set of guy outs, use the lower ones because these protect the tent from wind more. And if it's really windy, we recommend installing internal guy lines, which significantly strengthen the tent. There's an instructional video for this on our website. When taking down your Cahiltna dome, remember to loosen the web truss before you remove the poles, or it'll be hard to get them in next time. Otherwise, simply reverse the setup process removing the short poles first, gently collapsing the web truss, and then removing the long poles. This process is the same, regardless of whether or not the tent body is attached to the web truss. Finally, when removing the poles from the web truss, don't pull them straight out or the poles will separate. Instead, either push the poles or flex them as you pull to keep the sections together. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at slingfin.com.